All right, everybody, after uh, over a year, a year and one day, actually, uh, is when I'm recording this, uh, I'm finally creating a follow-up video to my most popular YouTube video of all time. The problem with drawing on an iPad Air 2, Procreate Diagonal Lines. Uh, and this is talking about a very specific problem on a very specific tablet with a very specific stylus. Um, but it is something that you may be experiencing across a wide variety of iPads, uh, excluding Pros. Um, a lot of the older iPads and the various uh, styli you can buy with them uh, have an issue that is sometimes known as line jitter, where when you're drawing a diagonal line slowly, you're going to get very, um, you're going to get very wiggly, kind of wiggly jiggly lines. Um, and I'll demonstrate that in a second, uh, just to show, uh, uh, you know, ruling out any uh, extraneous factors such as you might have arthritis or, um, you, know, you know, thanks for the medical advice there, I'll go check, get that checked out right away. Um, or how do you know it's not your fat hand moving? Well, I do have hands that are fat, so I guess it could be my fat hand jiggling all around, but, uh, you know... I, I think I can show that I can draw straighter than that. Um, basically, um, what I'm going to show you is I have an iPad Air 2 um, running Procreate 3 uh, with a bamboo, a Wacom bamboo fine line 2. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate, um, hopefully, this is my fourth time trying to record that uh, tonight. Been having some problems with the uh, Procreate app and um, the recording functionality, but uh, anyway, gonna attempt to record uh, a video showing you how to do this, and this will basically fix um, or alleviate any uh, jittering problems that you're going to be having uh, while drawing in Procreate. Let's show you. I'm on the HP pencil brush. This is the unmodified brush, and we're just going to do a few tests here. So. I'm gonna go up and down. These lines are fine. No issues with these lines. Um, you know, these are pretty good too. I, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle again. You know, that really is my fat hand moving. You know, <laughs> um, but what happens when we try and draw a like a slow diagonal line? Um, maybe even a little steeper. Yeah, and start to see some of the. Oh, there you go getting some bad ones there. Um, this is also really uh, evident in circles. So I'm going to get some iffy looking circles here. And so basically you can see when I'm drawing completely diagonal or, or you know completely horizontal lines rather leave vertical lines I can maintain a relative straightness when I'm drawing slowly, but when I'm drawing a diagonal line, and it's actually not as bad right now as it usually is, um, you can see there's some there's some issues here. There we go. And those I, I drew a little bit quick, quicker, but as you can see, I'm having a hard time keeping it straight from one end to the other. Um, and we're going to clear this, and we're just going to do another set here of unaltered HP pencil just to have a little area to show. I'm going to do three tests. Diagonal both ways in circles. I might be drawing too fast here. Um, but basically the way you're going to fix this issue is you're going to go to um, smoothing or streamlining um, and you're going to turn this up even just a little bit, 10%, and you're going to notice that even if you go real slow, well maybe if you go real slow you can see a little bit here, but it basically um, completely gets rid of these jitters and circles, you can draw some perfect, perfect-ish circles. So you can see no more of that, you see how it wiggles here? No more of that nonsense. Um, and what it's doing is it's interpolating the, where the line's going to be, and it's using predictive stroke to draw where the line is going to be. Um, it works a lot like lazy nesame, 
um, if you've ever used that on PC, um, to get rid of wine jitters. Um, and it's different than this jitter setting you see down below Streamline. Um, and basically, and let me make sure it's still recording on me because I've had my recording stop on me before. No, it's still going. Okay. Um, it's, you know, you can see what it's doing if you, so if you turn it, let's turn it all the way off again. We'll do a few short ones. You can see, you can really start seeing those wiggles coming out. Then if we turn it on a little bit, okay, much better. All right, and then if we turn it way up, all the way up, you can see, wow, really straight. But you can also see what it's doing when you have it turned all the way up. So you can see how like, it's kind of like starting out as a straight line and then it's kind of going to, and you can really see it when you're drawing a circle. It's predicting where the line's going to go. And having it all the way up is really going to kind of mess with your steez when it turns to drawing, but just having it turned up a little bit gets rid of the jitter problem. Um, but, you know, and it also allows you to draw fairly um, consistently to what your normal drawing uh, strokes would be, have their normal character um, and shape. So, yeah, if you're having the issue of this particular type of stylus, uh, on an older iPad, not a Pro iPad, because again, the Pro iPads with the Apple Pencil don't have this issue. Um, you know, you're going to be good to go as long as you, let me go back up to it, turn the streamline up, you know, that basically, and it works for every brush. Let me do one more brush here. Um, again, I'm going to do a quick, quick re record check. Um, this is a beta recording function, and I've had a crap out on me before, that's why I'm checking. Uh, I'm going to go to um, Bamboo, um, turn off the streamline because this is my, again, this is my fourth time recording, trying to record this video. Um, this is, this is what it looks like without, um, the smoothing. And I'm getting, I'm getting pretty consistent lines here. Oh yeah, now, now we're starting to see, I'm, I think I'm going too fast. If you go pretty fast, it gets rid of the jitter too, but... Yeah, we can see these circles are really turning out kind of lumpy. So let's go ahead and fix that by turning on Streamline a little bit. There we go. And I'm going a little faster, so let me go slow. Slow. And you can see there's a little bit of wiggle. But if we compare these, and pay attention to like where it dips and wiggles, you can see these are a lot less wiggly. And then I think the circles are a good way to tell too. You can see the circles are coming out a whole lot better, um, you know, and it's it's really it's it's a really uh, great way to um, get rid of this jitter problem. Um, and one last thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you uh, a comparison between two different styli here, um, just to show that this is a stylus specific problem on the iPad Air 2 and Procreate. Um, and I'm saying, I'm mentioning Procreate by name here um, because this particular jitter issue isn't affecting any of the other programs that support the Bamboo Fine Line 2. It is just a Procreate specific problem. And of course, there won't be any things on here because the streamline's on. Okay, turn the streamline off. See the wiggliness coming out because I'm drawing nice and slow. Yeah, especially with the. Especially with those tails, you can see like in the beginning of the stroke, it's getting some real weird stuff going on. Let's do some circles. All right, we're gonna call this Wacom. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to unpair the Wacom. We're going to pair the stylus that doesn't have this issue. Um, and this is the Adonit Pixel. You can see it's already connected and you can see it's supported. And we're going to, again, not changing anything on the brush, we're going to do the same thing. And it's going to come out a little lighter because the initial force of activation is a bit more um, stiff on this one. Um, so it takes a little bit more pressure to get the line to come out. Um, and, you know, again, I'm drawing pretty slow here and not having as much of a problem not having any issues with those, you know, squiggly tails. 
the squiggly tails, not having really the squiggly tails. Um, circles, you know, much better. Um, you can see like some like uh, some of the lumpiness, like especially here, you can see like the lumpies. Um, not really so much of the lumpiness. Again, this might not be the best brush to use because this brush does have some natural kind of grain to it. This little wiggly, but I mean, you get the idea. The Adonit Pixel, um, if you have an older iPad, not an, a pro model iPad, I definitely could recommend um, the Adonit Pixel. It's a great stylus. Um, doesn't have any wiggles, um, jitters, whatever you want to call them. Doesn't have any of that problem. Um, it's just really, really nice. Um, but yeah, basically, long short of it, Go into a thing, turn up the streamline to whatever he feels comfortable, and that'll get rid of your jitters. Um, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just keep <laughs> drawing as long as this recording is going, and maybe I'll capture all this, maybe it doesn't. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you, for, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to um give me a uh tip um you know uh, i would really appreciate it you can go to coffee.com and buy me a coffee as it were um and um you know i'll try i'm trying to figure out some way to give some rewards out for that but that's really just more of a kind of an appreciation thing for me um but again, I, you know, I really do want to reward people in that way, so um, maybe I'll do like a monthly video, everyone that gives me a coffee. Oh, look at this really great art. Um, <laughs> um, and people that buy me a coffee uh, can, um, uh, let's see, that's almost perverted looking, I don't know what that is. Um, people that buy me a coffee can uh, get in a shout out video every month maybe or um, you know I'll figure out something but if you want more concrete more cool rewards um, you can get uh, for again as little for a dollar as a month <laughs> Jesus Christ for as little as one dollar a month you can um, support me on patreon and that'll get you exclusive access to all kinds of you know neat stuff I'm working on so um, yeah, uh, if you don't want to give me any money in a tangible way like that, um, then, you know, please share this video if you like it, uh, comment and, you know, like or dislike even if you didn't like it, um, and let me know what the case is on that. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's basically, you know, whatever. Um, I got distracted by drawing this really crappy cup of coffee. Um, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do is great. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped fix a problem that you're having. And if it didn't, then, you know, uh, whatever. Um, if you're looking and getting an iPad, um, I'd recommend not getting an older iPad or getting a, um, getting a getting the new 2017 ipad that's just the plain ipad i'd recommend saving up for a pro um, i think that's really where the money's at uh, but again it is also where the money's at in terms of costs and if you can't afford it or if you have an older ipad like me and you can't afford to upgrade um, or you're waiting to buy a different device like a surface pro um, and you have an ipad lying around and you want to use it for drawing then this can be a great feature um, for you and even with these older ipads you can still get a lot of artistic um, mileage out of them. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, thanks all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.